Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange provides single sign-on solutions for Jira service management and as we know that is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. In this video, we will be going through Jira service management for SSO related options. Let's get started. You can set up SAML SSO for Jira service management using any IDP by watching our end-to-end -end setup video mentioned in the description. In the Miniorange SAML single sign-on configuration, you can see that we have configured a single identity provider here. By default Jira Service Management login page would look like this, with the single SSO button. You can enable or disable SSO for Jira Service Management using this button. Let's disable it. The SSO button is not visible in the Jira Service Management login page. In the plugin, enable Service Management SSO, now go to the sign in settings. You can enable the auto redirect to the IDP option to redirect all the customers to the IDP when they hit the Jira service management login page. To check this, go to Jira service management login page. And you can see that the page is being redirected to the IDP login page in few seconds. You can remove this delay off few seconds by disabling the delay auto redirect to IDP button. If the auto redirect to IDP option is enabled, and the delay is disabled, then customers will not be able to access the Jira service management login page. And if your service management agents want to use local Jira credentials to log in, they can use this backdoor URL to access the service management login page. Now go to the redirection rules tab in the plugin. Check out our redirection rules feature video to understand more about this feature. Scroll down to Jira Service Management Rules. Click on Add Rule. Enter the rule name here. From the IF drop down, you can add constraint on email domain, directory or group. In the next drop down, you can add condition. Select equals for the exact match of the email domain. Or as of the form, which can be used in situations where the rule needs to be applied to a user's multiple domains. And then here you can add respective email domain, directory or group. You can select the required IDP or login page that customers should be redirected to when the above condition is satisfied. Go back to Jira Service Management Rules. Here you can set the default redirection rules configured IDPs or login page or redirect the customers to desired URL. Now, navigate to Look and Field tab. Here you can modify the JSM login page UI as per your requirement. Check out our look and feel feature video to understand more about JSM login and logout page template feature. You can hide or show the SSO button using this option. By default it is shown. Let's hide the button by disabling the show login buttons. Go to the Jira service management login page and you can see the changes in the login page. You can also change the text of the SSO button. For that, enable the Show Login buttons. The default SSO button text will be Use Corporate Login. Change the Login button text as required. Go to Jira Service Management Login page, and the SSO button text has changed as required. You can change the Jira Service Management Login page UI template, by enabling this button. You can also customize this template by modifying the HTML code here. Go to the Jira Service Management Login page and you can see the changes in the login page. You can use this code to add the new SSO button. Let's see how to add SSO button from multiple IDPs. Now we have configured multiple identity providers here. We will require IDP ID for further configuration, which you can find in the overview tab of that IDP. Here is the IDP ID. IDP ID is a unique ID for each identity provider. Copy it and keep it aside. Go back to common settings. And again navigate to the look and feel tab. Scroll down to the code to add new SSO button. Copy the code. Now, go to the custom login template for Jira service management. Here you can add the new SSO button wherever you wish to. In the pasted piece of code, you will find the onclick function, auth URL. In its argument, enter the IDP ID that you had copied earlier from the SSO endpoints. 
you can modify the CSS. For changing the width or position of the button, you can also change the caption of the button by modifying the value attribute of that button. Now, scroll down and click on Save. Go to the Jira Service Management login page, and we can see that the new SSO button is added here. This was all about the Jira Service Management related options of our SAML plugin. To understand more about Jira Service Management related features, raise a ticket with us with a link in the description. Miniorange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.